the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. She has three full-grown dragons, Your Grace. The same as Aegon when he conquered the Seven Kingdoms. How'd you propose to stop them? We are currently at work on a solution, my lord. Apparently, one of Daenerys' dragons was wounded by spears in the fighting pits of Miri. They can be wounded, they can be killed. The finest artillers and blacksmiths in King's Landing have been laboring day and night, Your Grace. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back for another Game of Thrones Season 8 Endgame Theories video. As I'm sure most of you know by now, I recently uploaded a video about one of the plot leaks for the final season, and I noticed there were a few comments asking me about Cersei Lannister and the Golden Company. I did make a video about them several months ago, but not too many people saw that video for whatever reason, so I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to discuss some other potential outcomes. Instead of repeating what other YouTubers have already said, let's take this in a completely different direction. Most people assume the Golden Company will break their contract with Cersei by joining forces with the Targaryens, but what if that doesn't happen? As of right now, everyone should already know Cersei's plan for next season, or at least what she told Jaime. Cersei told Jaime she has no intentions of helping Jon and Daenerys defeat the Army of the Dead. She told everyone she would send all of her banners north, but we all know that was a lie. Cersei is actually sending Euron Greyjoy to Essos to pick up the Golden Company. Based on what we've been told, she could be receiving around 20,000 soldiers along with elephants trained for battle. After Cersei lost so many men during the Field of Fire, this is exactly what she needs to be able to put up some kind of a respectable fight next season. Thanks to the Tyrell Gold, Cersei was able to pay off the Iron Bank and start a new line of credit which allowed her to pull this off. But almost everyone is expecting the Golden Company to break their contract, even though they're known for never breaking a contract. If you've read the books, then you would know there is an example of this happening, so perhaps the television show plans to do the same thing. But I don't want to go down that same road. I wanted to explore some different options because there is always that chance the Golden Company could support Cersei until the very end. Not to mention, there was no evidence of the Golden Company breaking their contract during the filming of the final season. Plenty of photos and videos leaked from the set, and I did not notice any sign of the Golden Company switching sides. So just for the sake of this video, let's assume they will stick to their word. There was one part of the plot leak that could actually work, and if Cersei was able to pull this off, it would be genius. So, according to this plot leak, it says Cersei and Kyburn come up with a plan at the very beginning of the season. It says Cersei will go to Kyburn and tell him to enlist all the best blacksmiths from King's Landing in order to start mass producing as many scorpions as possible. Just in case you forgot what a scorpion is, it's the big ass looking crossbow Bronn used to shoot down Drogon. Now that Cersei paid off the Iron Bank, I really don't see her having a problem with getting the money to start producing multiple scorpions. So far, this would be a great idea. This is something Cersei and Kyburn should have done already. And perhaps Kyburn is already doing this and we just don't know about it yet. He did have the first scorpion made without our knowledge, so I would not be surprised if there are more next season. You have to think about it like this. The more scorpions you have, the more chances you can have at bringing down a dragon. Imagine if Cersei had a dozen of these made, and they were able to fire them all at the same time. How the hell would Daenerys be able to dodge a dozen different scorpion bolts coming in all directions? I don't think she would be able to. At the beginning of next season, the news about the Night King taking down the Wall will start to spread throughout Westeros. The entire continent will have to be put on high alert because the Night King and his army of the dead are now heading south with the dragon and giants. Believe it or not, this can actually benefit Cersei's plan. As of right now, we all know Cersei has no intentions of helping Jon or Daenerys with this fight but it could actually benefit her if she does send some help instead, and I'll tell you why. When and if Jaime Lannister arrives in Winterfell, I'm assuming he will tell them Cersei lied about helping them. However, once Cersei finds out the Night King is actually heading south with the dragon, she could lie again, but she could send them help at the same time. 
Once Cersei receives this news, she can immediately send word to Winterfell and apologize for not helping. She could say that she's sorry for not taking them serious, but now that she knows that the Night King is actually a threat, she can send them as much help as possible, or as much help that benefits her secret plan. She can tell them she will send the remaining Lannister troops, along with the Golden Company she purchased as reinforcements, but I will also be sending them with about a dozen scorpions because the Night King now has a dragon. This will help all of us to bring down his dragon as soon as possible. Jon and Daenerys might not want to believe her at first, but they really aren't in any position to start turning down some help, and we all know Jon is always ready to give someone a second or third chance. If Jon gets the sense that the Night King might be coming to Winterfell with his family there, he would definitely accept Cersei's second offer. Ultimately, they would probably agree to this because they aren't going to have too much time to sit around and debate anyway with the Night King heading their way. They will need to act fast. Once they agree to these terms, all Cersei needs to do is make sure she has Lannister men only controlling the Scorpions. People that she thinks she can trust. Now that Jaime left, Cersei will need to find a new commander, along with a handful of other men that can be her top lieutenants. Now in order for Cersei to gain their trust, she's gonna have to promise them everything under the sun. Castles, titles, highborn wives, some new land, whatever it takes for them to carry out her plans. I'm sure she can find plenty of men who would love to have a castle of their own. She needs to make one thing very clear, and this is what should actually convince Jon and Daenerys that Cersei might actually be telling the truth, especially when they see it with their own eyes. Cersei should hold a small council meeting with these few select men and tell them to go north with the Scorpions and actually help defeat the Night King. Cersei may or may not want to admit this, but she actually needs the Night King to lose as soon as possible. Cersei says she wants the Army of the Dead to help defeat her enemies in the North, but if this were to happen, Cersei would be screwed because the Night King would then just raise up all of those dead soldiers in the North. Then come down to King's Landing and completely obliterate it. Cersei would not stand a chance, so she actually needs the Night King to lose. So, Cersei must tell these men to make sure the Night King is defeated first. Use the Scorpions to take down his dragon. Once Jon and Daenerys would see Cersei's men trying to take down the Night King's dragon, they would pretty much be convinced that Cersei is honoring her commitment. However, this is where Cersei's plan could unfold. Once the Night King and his dragon are brought down, that's when the men controlling the Scorpions would immediately point them at Danny's dragon and begin to fire. They would be completely blindsided by this, and if Cersei's men acted fast, they could take down both of Danny's dragons before anyone would even have time to react. During this chaos, they would never see it coming. Cersei could potentially kill two birds with one stone. If her plan could play out perfectly, Jon and Daenerys would have no reason to be suspicious because they would see Lannister men and men from the Golden Company fighting side by side with their men, and dying right alongside their own men as they tried to defeat the Army of the Dead. Plus, they would all see all the scorpions pointed at the Night King's dragon. But that's until they bring down the Night King and Viserion, and once that happened, all hell would break loose. Cersei would obviously lose a lot of men, but so would Jon and Daenerys. But if Cersei was able to bring down all the dragons, it would almost level the playing field. The battle against the Night King would be so intense, they would be completely caught off guard if Cersei done something like this. If she had a dozen scorpions all firing at the same time, you could bring down a dragon very fast, before they even knew what hit them. When Cersei's men would show up with these scorpions, the best thing for them to do is to go to Jon right away, and ask him what type of projectiles they would need to make to bring down the Night King's dragon. This would put Danny and Jon's minds at ease right away, if they thought they were only worried about making projectiles that took down an undead dragon. Jon knows what it takes to kill whites and white walkers, so he would probably have them make giant arrow tips out of dragon glass, and they could even make some of the arrow's shafts out of small weirwood branches. We all know how special those trees are, so they might also contain the type of magic that can stop soldiers or animals in the Army of the Dead. If you had a dozen scorpions all shooting dragonglass arrows at Viserion at the same time, I'm sure it would bring his ass down pretty quick. Then once the dragon slams into the ground, that's when Jon or whoever needs to challenge the Night King to a sword fight, then take his ass down for good. And if Beric Dondarrion is correct, then killing the Night King could cause his entire army to fall to the ground. If that happened, Daenerys would land her dragons assuming the fight is over, but during the confusion, all the scorpions would then turn to Daenerys and her dragons. And if they're stationary targets, it's game over. By the time Jon and Daenerys realized what is even happening, it would already be too late. 
Not only would all of the Scorpions have already fired a shot simultaneously, but they could be getting reloaded and fired again, by the time they realize that they're even being fired upon. All of Cersei's men that are still alive would then of course turn their blades onto John and Danny's forces. Most of them could kill at least one person by the time they realized what was happening. Even if Cersei lost most of her men, or all of her men, she would have already delivered a blow so devastating, Daenerys would probably never recover from it. Imagine how shocking it would be if Cersei actually pulled something like this off. The army of the dead and all three dragons could be taken out at pretty much the same time. It would almost be like the Red Wedding, but instead of it happening in a dining hall, it would be happening on the battlefield. Now, will Game of Thrones actually do something like this? Probably not, but I wanted to explore a different scenario, instead of just making another video about the Golden Company breaking their contract. Anyways, let me know what you think about this idea. It's definitely not something I would bet on, but it's fun to discuss it either way. Put your thoughts or questions down below in the comment section. I want to thank everyone for watching today's video, I really appreciate that as always, and I also want to thank everyone on Patreon for supporting the channel for another month. Thank you all so much, I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.